everyone, so this video is overdue. I am catching up on a bunch of videos that I have not done today. So I believe in January when I uploaded my December one, um, I said, hey, at the beginning of each month, I'm going to upload a video where I talk about all the movies and TV shows that I watched the previous month. So still want to do that. Didn't do it for January, February because I suck. So today is going to be uh, my video on January, everything I watched in January. So the very first thing I have on here is Jumanji and this is the remake that they made with Kevin Hart and Jack Black. All these actors that I adore, even including The Rock. Who doesn't love The Rock? I love The Rock. And let me just say that I was going into this movie a little bit skeptical because Jumanji is one of my favorite movies ever. Robin Williams is one of my favorite actors and human beings that has ever been on this planet. When I tell you that I mourned the day he passed, I'm telling you. But um, I was skeptical because Robin Williams is just extremely, extremely near and dear to my heart. I have an entire sticker dedicated to him and his characters on my computer. And if you're on my computer, you know you're important. <laughs> so I went into this movie not not expecting to be disappointed um, because I had, I had heard it was good, but um, they did, they put a spin on what Jumanji is and I really, really liked what they did with it. They turned it into a video game. They made the characters go into the game but also changes the characters and it was just really really cool. I loved what they did with having the like Kevin Hart and all them portray these teenagers. Um, Jack Black's character with the girl was so funny um, and they didn't do it in a way that was like in any way like offensive or like trying to talk like do anything to bring down the girl. It was really really funny and I really liked the relationships between all the characters and it was a hysterical movie. I feel like my own mouth is bothering me right here. I'm not supposed to put lipstick right there, but you can see my mouth a little bit. I'm sorry if you can see that and if it's annoying. I'm sorry if you didn't notice until I just brought it up right now. That's like the inside of my mouth and I'm not gonna paint on that. But anyways, um, yeah, Jumanji was really funny. It was a real good time um, and I really enjoyed it. Next, um, the next one that I watched was Pitch Perfect 3, Pitch 3. This one, another one that I wasn't expecting too much going in. The first one was really funny. The first one really good. I really enjoyed it. The second one was kind of, each, the second and the third one were kind of just remakes of the first one. Um, they weren't any, they're not any movies that I've taken too seriously. They're each funny and enjoyable and just fine. And the singing is really good. The singing, I feel like, was probably the best in like the second movie like I remember the end was like I really enjoyed the end like when they brought all all the moms and everything the next one that I have here is the mountains between us between us <laughs> Lost my footed footing for a second there. This movie had um Idris Elba an actor and a man that I just adore. I think he is just such a such a man don't you he's just such a I'm gonna stop. Um, but then also Kate Winslet was in that movie. Another actress that I just absolutely adore. Who doesn't love Kate Winslet? So I watched this movie. I really liked it. And then I was like, I finished it. And it was really, I, I liked it. The end was like a little bit cringy. Like, I don't, the I feel like the writing could have been better. And like the progression of the events could have been dealt with a little bit better to make more of a like emotional impact. Um, but I finished the movie. And then my first thought was like, was this a book? Because I feel like if this was a book, that it would have been a lot better. I mean, usually books are better than the movies. Um, not in every case. I'm not a snob that's like, never watch the movie because the book is always better. There's a couple instances where I've liked the movies more than the books. It's happened. But um, yeah, I finished it and I was like, you know what? This would probably be a really good book. And then it's like, based on the book by da da da. I was like, oh, you see? And that's why. It was a really good story. But I feel like on paper, it would have just made so much more of an impact. I almost wanted to read the book and I probably will eventually in my life maybe um, because I feel like the book is probably better if you've read the book and you've seen the movie if you've just uh, read the book let me know because I'm so curious the next one that I watched was bright well I finished it in January anyways you know that movie with Will Smith that came out on Netflix I liked it but I really really wish that Netflix would have invested in like a TV show for this concept for that movie because I felt like it was such an interesting concept. It was such an interesting world for this movie, but they put it in two hours and I feel like it could have just been expanded a lot, expanded a lot more because the, the, um, the, the, I don't want to say the mythology, 
the, the magic and everything that was involved in that story was so interesting and the makeup was really good the special effects were really good and I really just wanted more I wanted to see more I really liked Will Smith's character I really like his his partner's character their dynamic was great I really liked that I met the dynamic of their um, partner relationship um and I just I Basically what it comes down to is I just really wanted to see more. Yeah, then the next one, um, This Is Us and The Fosters and How to Get Away with Murder came back, so I've been watching those. Um, I haven't seen the last episode of How to Get Away with Murder or The Fosters. I finished This Is Us. Um, another sad episode. Man, This Is Us, I have literally never watched a show that has made me cry as much as This Is Us. I watch it with my mom. And um, spoiler alert, but the episode where they actually talk about and explain how Jack died. I, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I literally started sobbing in front of my mom and she had to like get up and console me. Like I get very emotional when I watch shows and stuff, but I don't cry unless I'm like by myself, like even in front of my mom and stuff. But I seriously could not hold back my tears. It was ridiculous. She was like, are you okay? And I'm like, you know what? No, that is just, it's such a good show. Oh my god, go watch it. Seriously, it's so good. Then the next one that I watched, I completed and binge watched all of Black Mirror. Um, really good show. Not every episode is amazing. I really like the concept of this show, but some of the episodes were honestly kind of lacking. The first one, weird <laughs> and interesting, but um, and it got, got the ball rolling for the show, but not every episode was like amazing. I really liked one of the last ones. Um, the one I really like the actress and I forgot her name but the one where like people rate each other and the one there was the very the last one the last one was very interesting um with uh Shuri the actress who plays Shuri was in it oh I really like the one with the VR where the guy where that um white dude goes to where a country <laughs> I forget and uh, he ends up doing that VR thing so that he can get some extra cash that was a really cool episode. I really liked that one. Oh yeah, and then San Junipero, San, um, that one. I really, really liked that episode. I thought the characters, the girls in that show, that episode, were super adorable. I really liked the concept of that also. It was really interesting. Um, but yeah, Black Mirror, good show, and I'll probably watch it when it comes back. But um, not every episode is like amazing. Next, I started watching The Crown, and I got through at least season one in Feb. January. I really like that show. I really like, I know some people, I've, I've heard some people say that it was boring. Um, and I can understand where people say that because like those kinds of shows that are not necessarily political, but they're based on like actual historical events and people, they can be sometimes. Um, but I'm, I'm a, I'm the type of person that like loves that kind of stuff. I will drink it up. Like, what is, whatever the phrase is. And I've always wanted to learn more about the queen and the show. I, I, absolutely like I adore the actress who plays her I think she's so cute and I love how she portrays the queen I love how she is in that show and I can't ever get enough I would love watching her in every single scene because I just love seeing her mannerisms and how she speaks I think I love listening to her um and I I really like that show and I'm looking forward to when it comes back at the end of the year but yeah, The Crown, really good. Um, I, definitely a good binge-worthy show. I loved it. Um, next, I rewatched watched um, Kevin Hart's special, What Now? I just started rewatching it on Netflix one day, and I watched the whole thing. It's so funny. I'm actually going to see Kevin Hart in July. I am so excited. Kevin Hart is so... I love Kevin Hart. He's so funny. I have been watching him for years. I used to have a TV in my room. I don't anymore. Um, but like a TV, like a box tv um and i took it out of my room because like i never watched it and netflix exists i remember i used to stay up at night when i was younger and like when um what's it called when the comedy central would play stuff like at night um they would usually play his or at least one day because i ended up watching it they played kevin hart's um one of his comedy specials and it was so all right, then the next, um, I finished a book called Anatomy of a Scandal. I have a book review on it on my channel if you want to check that out. And then the last thing I watched was actually a, not, it wasn't a K-drama. Um, it was a Japanese show. It was like about five episodes long with Kai from EXO. Um, EXO being one of my favorite boy groups of all time. I have a poster up there. What's up, dudes? They just finished their um, concerts, the Elix Elixian, la la la, whatever it's called, that concert in... Thailand like yesterday or something and I'm I need them to I need them to come 
here. I need them to come. BTS is supposed to come and I'm just waiting. Every day is like anticipation of when they're going to announce a world tour. World tour. Real world tour because GOT7 and Monster X already did. So I'm just waiting. I'm just trying to sit here patiently and wait. Anyways, um, this show was actually very good. I very I really liked it. Haven't watched the fifth episode yet because I'm weird and I don't know why I haven't watched it. I haven't watched the last episode of that last one he did, um, Andante. But I really liked the story. Like, it's about the family. Kai isn't necessarily the main character. Um, it's about a Japanese family and the girl, she's like a 32-year-old and she lives with her mom and her dad and her little sister who's like 17. Um, and Kai kind of makes his way into their lives and he kind of helps their family dynamic. Um, I don't, he doesn't end up with the girl, um, but he kind of comes in and out of their lives and makes it better. Um, he helps the relationship between her parents, between her and her sister, between her and her own mom and her parents. And he kind of just comes in and mends the family a little bit. And I just really like that. I thought the scenes with like the, the romantic scenes between them are really cute also. But um, it was, I feel like it was more about how he helped the family in the way that he did. I don't think he was a bad guy in the show. He was just caught up in his own stuff. And um, that kind of just, yeah, he kind of came in and out. I need to watch the last episode still um, because Ka Kai Jongin in the, he's Korean, but the show is actually Japanese, but he plays a Korean <laughs> dude in the show. Um, and so he's in Japan and then he ends up just leaving and um, the girl, I forgot her name, but she goes to Korea to try and find him because she's like, why did you leave? And I have yet to find out what happens because I haven't watched the last episode. But that was the last thing I watched in, in January. Um, didn't watch too, too much. I think I have a little bit more to talk about in February. But um, yeah, let me know if any of you have seen any of these shows or movies. Um, let me know what you, what was your favorite thing that you watched in February? I'm very curious. I'm always looking for more TV shows and movies to watch. I really like to take in as much media as I can. But yeah, like I said, let me know what you watched. Let me know if you watched anything that I watched. What were your thoughts on these things? My hair, my hair has gotten so long it's like at my waist kind of and it's i'm debating on cutting it i don't know anyways um thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in my next video i'm about to record my february one of these so i will see you in that one if you want to head on over there and watch it but yeah thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye